How's it going, James? Dave with the Post and Courier. Um, a lot was said about you know Benedict getting to come in and enjoy it being the hometown kids playing the big arena. How did you feel getting to come back here and play for the first time at, at your home arena? Uh, you know, it felt real good. Uh, you know, seeing all my friends, family in the stands, uh, playing against some of the guys on Benedict uh, that I've known. You know, since I was in high school. Uh, you know, everything was great about it. You know, what I imagined, the crowd. Uh, you know, and just putting on the, uh, you know, the jersey from my hometown is just everything to me. James, just kind of take me through that moment. What was kind of going through your head, the emotions you were feeling when you got to put the jersey on and go through the pregame stuff and see the video and see, hear your name get called out over the loudspeaker? Uh, I kind of had to, uh, like when we went uh, to walk out, I kind of had to, you know, walk by myself a little bit, uh, close my eyes and just kind of, just soak it all in, but try not to soak it in too much, to, uh, so I end up playing bad. But uh, man, I wanted to get emotional, but you know, I mean, you know, I just I've been playing college basketball, you know, a long time, so you know, I kind of just, you know, took it all in, but just let it go real fast. Uh, for both of you guys, just obviously, both of you guys shot the ball well tonight. What do you think of just how the, the offense was clicking, how you guys were clicking just as a team overall, the, the chemistry, what worked, what didn't work tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, we shot the ball at, you know, at a good clip, you know, us two individually. Um, I haven't seen, well, I'm not going to say I haven't seen, but I'm looking at it now. We shot the ball at a good clip the entire night as a team. Um, you know, but that's what we get. You know, that's why we're right here. We got to shoot the ball. We have to shoot the ball well. And so... You know, that shouldn't be a surprise to us or our teammates or, the, you know, you, you guys. You, that, you guys know that about us. But um, offensive flow, I thought offensive flow was – it was better than it has been. I'll put it that way. Um, you know, practicing against a team that always is in line, always is pressuring the ball, always in the passing line, it's, it's tough to run our offense against a team like that, you know, every single day. So it's it's – refreshing to, to see us actually be able to get to second option, third option, fourth option when it comes to our, our system and our flow. Um, definitely got some things to work on offensively uh, when it comes to flow and when it comes to timing. Um, but yeah, I thought, we, I thought we did an okay job offensively. Erica, four threes for you tonight. Um, are, is that going to be your role on the team as the outside <laughs> shooter or is that just how this game went? I mean, can you be an in and out kind of guy? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd, I'm not. Sure. I mean, I don't want to label myself as just you know a catch and shoot guy, you know, because I could do more than that. But if that's what's going to be presented with me, I'll be more than happy to shoot it. Same, so, you know, same with Reese. You know, we're guys that can make shots from the outside, but we can also get in that paint and you know make a little floater or, or dump it down for the big. So I wouldn't label us as just knock down catch and shoot guys, but playmakers that can make shots. Uh, for either of you guys, uh, defensively, it seemed like they were able to get out and transition uh, a lot, especially early, early in the game to score some points. Uh, what, what did Frank have to say to you guys? And it, is there an adjustment there, or is it just get back? Uh, yeah, it's definitely uh, you know something that you know we don't want to happen. Uh, we gotta. Uh, I mean, we we drill it every day. You know, um, you know uh, the guards getting back, but uh, you know. Uh, mental mistakes in the game, you know, something we can fix easily, go and practice, watch film. Uh, you know, I mean, he definitely wasn't happy about that because, I mean, you know, no coach is uh, happy about it, like a wide open fast break layup. But, you know, I mean, that's definitely something we got to get better at. Uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, <laughs> Saturday practice we, we're going to work on some, do some drills uh, full court. Yeah. Uh, Frank definitely was not happy about giving up transition buckets uh, at that clip. Uh, I think they said we gave up, what, 16 transition points in the first half. Um, that should be our goal for the entire game, <clears throat> to hold a team less than that the entire game. Uh, I think they went on an 8-0 run where they were all un uncontested dunks or layups because of turnovers and getting out in transition. So, like Reese said, we, you know, we drill that stuff daily. Um, we, you know, just made mistakes first time out here, in, you know, with fans and, and uh, you know, a crowd. I plan to get somebody else. So just mental mistakes, easily fixable though. So I mean, we'll, we'll drill it on Saturday and be ready for it on Tuesday. 
for either of you guys. Obviously, Jermaine and Keyshawn didn't play today. Just what does this offense look like? How much more of a step forward can it take bringing those two guys and obviously people that have been in this system and been in with Frank for a long time? Um, <clears throat> you, you know, Jermaine and uh, Keyshawn, you know, it's definitely, uh, you know, a big loss. But, uh, you know, those guys just, uh, you know, open the floor way more, you know, when uh, – when they're on the floor with us, uh, you know, and we all just compliment each other so well. I mean, we're still getting to know each other too because you know it's still early, but uh, you know, you know, it's it's definitely better, you know, in my opinion, uh, you know, when they're in, when they're in the game because uh, you know, it's a lot of threats on the floor, I guess. But uh, <coughs> you know, we hope we get those guys back soon. Yeah, and they, you know, they bring a sense of, you know, vet. You know, they're the two vets in the program. So, um, especially Maine being a PG, you know, another big guard out there that can guard as well and, you know, and run the offensive system, you know. So, and then Keyshawn's is a freak of nature athletically, you know. So, it gives you a whole other aspect of, you know, you could play above the rim or, you know, if he strikes the floor out, you know, in transition or spacing the floor in the half court. So, you know, obviously missing those two guys tonight <clears throat> made things probably look a little rough early on. But uh, no, nah, we definitely missed him. And we're waiting to have him back. Um, just ready to get messed well as a team, as the entire staff. Uh, James, just how many friends and, and family did you have out there tonight? And, and what were kind of the conversations like before today? Did you get a lot of texts today or throughout the week? Or just kind of uh, what was it like from, from your friends uh, and family? It was kind of crazy. Uh, I had uh, my mom. Uh, and my best friend, you know, calling me saying, like, why people calling me, asking me about the game. So uh, it was kind of crazy. But uh, it's too many to count. I got a lot of, you know, it feel good. The conversations, you know, uh, go crazy, go crazy. But I'm telling them, like, yo, chill. This is, like, this is team ball. This is not, you know, the wreck. But, uh, you know, <laughs> but it's it been cool, though, man. I love the conversations, man. I loved it. Uh, and I'm just thankful, man. Thankful. Thank you.